Hello and welcome to Droix. If you have a Retroflag GPI case and are wondering if the newly released Raspberry Pi Zero 2 works on it, then wonder no more. We just got a Zero 2 to check out and we will let you know. The Raspberry Pi Zero 2 has the same form factor and layout as the first, so it should fit in the cartridge with no issues. The SoC is actually the same used on the Raspberry Pi 3, so in theory any software compatible with that should run on the Zero 2. We tested this with a RetroPie image for the Pi 3. It works fine if connected to a TV or monitor, but unfortunately it will not boot on the GPI case due to it requiring a few scripts to be installed and some other changes to get it running. Fortunately, the guys at Recallbox were bang on it and have already released a new version of their retro gaming setup. It's not only compatible with the Zero 2, but also with the GPI case. It's a beta, so be warned, not everything is working perfectly just yet. You can download the image file from their website, which is linked in the description. You then write the image file onto a micro SD card with software such as Etcher and you're good to go. When first switched on, it will take a few seconds to display anything, so just let it run for a bit. After a few moments, it should play a brief random boot animation and following that display the main menu. The recall box image comes with some homebrew games pre-installed for a number of systems so you will need to add your own games. You can do this simply by copying them to the micro SD card. There's a partition named Share where all of the games are located in their system's respective folders. We have copied a few games over to check out whilst discussing the Raspberry Pi Zero 2's performance. The Zero 2 runs up to five times faster than the original. We can expect to see improved performance on a few systems that were not quite fast enough on the original. The majority of 8 and 16 bit systems are running great now. GBA emulation appears to be working fine. I tried a few random games and they all run with no slowdown. The games also look great on the GPI screen. Dreamcast has some issues with the controller configuration. You can probably redefine the controls somewhere in the menus, but we wanted this to be a quick video. After trying a few games, I can see that they are working, but not running at full speed. Depending on the game, you may be able to get away with overclocking and get closer to smooth enough frame rates. N64 is now far more playable but it will very much depend on which game you're playing. The more basic games run great, while faster paced games for example will see some slowdown. Overclocking may help a little, but don't expect games to be perfect. Even the Pi 4 struggles with some of them. I tried a few PlayStation games and they are working far better than on the first Zero. You may have some issues with games requiring all the trigger and shoulder buttons as the GPI case does not have enough buttons, but overall PlayStation emulation is working much better now. So is the Zero 2 worth upgrading to if you have a GPI case? It depends on which systems you are playing. If it's 8 and 16 bit then the vast majority of systems were already running great. Upgrading in this instance means you should have smoother games on a few systems that were just a little under full speed. If you want to expand into GBA and PlayStation along with some N64 and Dreamcast games then we definitely recommend upgrading to the Zero 2. Having GBA and PlayStation does open a lot more modern games to play if that's your thing. We haven't tested things like battery life, but the Zero 2 does consume more power. That's something to keep in mind when running off the batteries instead of a power supply. 
That wraps up this brief video for the GPI case and Raspberry Pi Zero 2. We hope you have found it useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with our videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back in the next one.